No. So the legend pass has appeared one day ahead of expected. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much more or less exactly kind of what I was saying it would be yesterday if you seen that video. Uh, yeah, with the usual stuff of tiers you can buy, the two different versions of the pass. So the 1099 one gets you the pass itself and paying um, 30 euros will get you the pass and up to, yeah, level 15 in it. Now, and yeah, this has quite a lot of pretty cool uh, things throughout it with decals and skins, as well as, like I said in yesterday's video, where there's actually a free pass that has a load of, um, yeah, body parts, credit rewards and blueprints and stuff as well. So like there is content to be had here if you don't want to pay, which yeah, is perfectly fine way to play Asphalt 9. I'd always say like when you're playing this game, just keep in mind that you don't have to have all of the stuff in the game. If you try and get everything in this game and max it out, like you'll end up spending an absolute crazy amount of cash. But when it comes to these legend pass things, I kind of like this mechanic in game cause it's pretty much just a month of missions and quests and stuff to do. So yeah, you can see the missions straight away, whether you've bought the pass or not. And yeah, they all seem relatively um, harmless enough. There is a, a few here which mentioned doing them in career races because this was supposed to also bring in some extra career and that hasn't appeared quite yet. So we'll have to see if the um, career stuff comes in in the next week or so, hopefully. But uh, yeah, as it stands right now, say a lot of players like myself would have the career 99% complete. Before I get much further into this video, by the way, I want to <laughs> raise two things. Yeah, firstly, gonna grab my uh, Shelby <laughs> from inside here and yeah the other thing I was gonna say the zero uno which appears uh, from quite a low garage level uh, that one in particular keep in mind there is an additional way of getting uh, blueprints for that car right now so just in case you've been kind of passing up on these because of the fact that you've grinded out all the cars available I would strongly advise taking a look at the class B cup and probably the upcoming days as well and um, because of the fact that there is additional cars in both the um, B and B plus ones the zero uno can be in both B and B plus uh, packs here so that car is definitely one that there's like way more ways of getting um, blueprints for it now so they appear in those classic packs you can get them from the legend store and just yeah very very strongly advise go and take a look at the class b cup if you haven't done those races already like all the time as this was i had all of the cars actually from this one already so i wasn't even doing these but yeah with these patches just come in here and check the different days cups now i'm pretty sure i did check yesterday as well and there wasn't anything added to those c class cups but again i would say just take a look back in here on the a and the s days as well just to see because there'll likely be something added and these packs are not linked to any garage level so everyone will have zero uno uh, cards inside these now in both uh, like i said b and b plus now so looking at what this gives here and just keep in mind the fact that uh yeah there is a few things in this which aren't immediate benefits so where it says like say the three star exclusive car Keep in mind that that has to be unlocked by playing through the season. So as I mentioned in yesterday's video, like buying this season pass and then not playing the game will give you no rewards. So you really do have to actually log in and make sure and do those missions every week. If you're not gonna be playing this one, spending the 10 euro will get you effectively uh, nothing. <laughs> but yeah, say like that three star exclusive car, that's this D-class uh, Taken Turbo S which isn't exactly amazing and to be fair you're only going to get it as far as three stars by getting the blueprints throughout this legends pass so you'll still need to spend money at some point to get packs for this one or find another way to finish it off and start up to the four so it's not exactly an amazing thing getting that exclusive car but at least it's another cool Porsche in the garage the three extra gas capacity in all cars um i've noticed that those icons for that are dotted throughout the actual season pass so that one 
may not come in straight away. I'll actually get the past during this video as well, so I'll see for sure. But I don't think that one's an immediate effect, by the way. I think that's something that you need to unlock. The daily free ticket refill, I think, is an immediate unlock, as well as the two classic packs daily. So that's two of the free packs every day. The 50% reputation, trade bonus points, they seem to be icons dotted throughout the actual season pass as well. So I don't think they become active immediately. As well as the uh, thing at the end, which is the next season bundle discount. Yeah, that's another one that's uh, in the actual pass as a reward. And I don't see it having a percentage marker on there. So it's hard to know what that would actually cost. The main, like, the, the only difference between buying the Legend Pass and the Bundle Pass, by the way, is those 15 tiers. So it, it is just paying effectively 20 euro to just skip 15 tiers into this. Um, I'm personally not interested in doing something like that. But at the same time, if you weren't going to be playing as much, I can see the benefit in getting that. Or it may be for people who come along to the season later who only have like a certain number of days to complete the thing and want to just kind of speed through the pass by just shelling out some extra cash. But again, this is one where I'm going to test out and buy the Legend Pass for myself see how the season goes and see if it actually progresses fairly and if it adds potential value to the game uh, this is one where it'll be a case of <laughs> if it doesn't it's still going to be 50 days of like basically an extra few missions and stuff to do for some small benefits and yeah i'll work out over the next month or so if it's uh, going to be worth that i'll probably like check back in i'd imagine ziggy will be buying it as well so myself and him were planning to do a multiplayer live stream uh friday evening i'll put a video schedule for that live stream on the channel and yeah myself and himself will probably be chatting about how we're getting on with the very start of this season pass then but i did say i'd chuck up a video straight away to kind of say check out that b class event and yeah awesome season pass in game now <laughs> very strange to have a purchase in the eShop, which is this bundle might contain the following <laughs> but yeah it's weird it's like legends pass even that sort of gambling because obviously if you don't play it then you're going to run into a situation where you uh yeah won't get all the rewards from it and awesome gold points i think from the mario game that came out the bowser's 3d world thing eh, it, i like those in like the e-shop it's kind of cool to get like a discount for your previous purchases there there's a lovely throwback immediately to remind you mobile game congratulations you bought the legends pass tap to continue no, this isn't a mobile game. Please watch out for stuff like that when porting stuff over. I'll tap a button <laughs> rather than tapping a screen. Oh, cool. So they just have it so that you can uh, claim the rewards just in case you had played through quite a bit. I have now a decal for that Porsche Taman, but no car yet. And a body part for the Porsche 918 Spider. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call that worth nine ninety nine. Mm. <laughs> it even makes my Porsche look unhappy. Uh, yeah, uh, somebody mentioned by the way that the glitch for removing the wheels and for uh, the paint job transferring from car to car has been removed. But I think if you have that done to cars, they still definitely seem to be missing their wheels. So, uh, yeah, I'll have to see how that one pans out. I haven't actually tested it myself to see if that has been patched out. But, uh, yeah, it definitely still ex remains on cars that you had done it to. As evident by my car missing its wheels. Ah, so with the classic pack, when it says two extra per day, what it seems to have done is, and that was just on four hours when I before I bought that, and it's dropped that down to three so I'd imagine, have they worked that out as being basically that it's only a three hour wait time now for the classic pack. So you can get those eight times in a day. But realistically, that may not exactly equate to two extra classic packs because human beings need to sleep. So unless you're going to wake up twice during the night, you are kind of, 
yeah, you'll probably get some extra classic packs from that, but maybe not exactly two extra per day as some might think that would just be a case of log in and click it for get three the first time or so, but yeah, fair enough. It's technically two extra per day. Like I said, this battle pass has to win me over over the next 50 days to get the next one or have me whine and moan about it. <laughs> The fuel units, as I told as well, by the way, that's not an immediate upgrade because, yeah, my uh, Porsche 918 there is still showing as four units of fuel. So that is the units of fuel have to be earned from the actual battle pass by playing through the tiers. So, yeah, you can actually see if you look into the um, paid tiers uh, that level 15 has the two plus fuel units and then the third fuel unit is uh there we go uh level 32 so you won't immediately get access to those uh right off the bat when you buy that it is just a case of once you get to that stage you will uh get to yeah unlock it so it's pretty cool so in other words it's more incentive as well to play through the season faster because obviously those will be temporary bonuses that go away at the end of the season but yeah it is just worth keeping in mind that like i said some of the benefits are not immediately like um active on the account the other benefits which are active on this are right away active see the 10 percent legends pass bonus those quests are now worth 80 um legends points for myself and the 10% trade and 10% rep boost should be both active as well as the daily free ticket refill. So yeah, inside here, trashing these. Uh, now grants uh, 17 instead of uh, the previous amounts. So that's pretty cool. Nice little bonus for that. I'm not gonna do any of those though for a while until I get to uh, later on in this thing, there's actually an additional reward, which is more trade coins again. So I'm just going to let these things stockpile and uh, I'll trade them over once I have that full uh, bonus reward. And yeah, just popped in there just to check that that's immediately available to Season Pass. So yeah, now the ticket refill, if you go up there, the first one of those at least has a all tickets free rook fill icon on it instead of costing tokens so that's pretty cool get to like have an extra few pops at weekly competition or if you get some time to hammer out some of the actual car hunt stuff that's pretty cool as well that you've got a free refill of that because yeah i do tend to want to use tokens for that or do use tokens for that sometimes depending on the events so yeah not a bad reward to just have that access so not a bad reward to have one of those free over the next uh, 50 days. I'm just doing the math in my head, 50 days times 50 tokens. So yeah, that can save you a fair amount if you use tokens quite a lot to refill your tickets if you're gunning over and over again on, like I said, those weekly competitions or events like that. I'm just looking down through the actual quests as well here, doing one or two of these, and I'm saying like, drift that distance perfect runs airtime and say 360 knockdowns also reaching top three in a race in a porsche and finish races in scotland so take a look at career and see if we can find a scotland race with a porsche that's kind of long handy enough for a few of those quests here dipping down in the b class rookie in career and use that you can uh, take out the Porsche uh, 911 GTS Coupe for that. It should do the drift and it can give you enough time to get a lot of air time. And it's a fairly long track as well, a minute and a half. So you could definitely get quite a lot of the barrel rolls in on this run if you needed them. I actually have them already, but yeah, the outer area of the dipping down would give you those barrel rolls handily enough. Also, we'll point out the fact that that drift 2,500 yards or meters, whichever one it was, is, uh, yeah, like, that doesn't say you have to also win, so you could also just put a car into an eternal drift, pretty much, and you'll suck and not win the race, but yeah, you could get your, um, you can get your drift yards by doing that, no waters. I am gonna also try and get one of the wins still, so I'm trying to 
keep the drift up consistently while also just uh yeah trying to knock out a few cars get myself some 360s and like i said one of the winds in the himalayas as well as some air time your barrel rolls are here handily enough for so many barrel rolls in a single race quest is easily complete on this race And yeah, my main one that I'm going for is, again, that drift, drifty, drift, drift, drift all the time. <laughs> then in 9.11, GTS isn't too bad for being able to maintain some bit of speed while doing that <laughs> level of silly drifting. But yeah, at the same time, it's like... This car golded kind of well outranks this event anyway, so it's not too uh, much of a bother to keep it in that perpetual drift. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, like I said, just find yourself a nice easy race that's long enough. Dipping down is fairly long and yeah, a couple of 360 knockdowns there as well. As I drift, my 360 knockdowns. <laughs> Not too bad, a couple of clay of tears done in a single race. That race I used there is just the race number five in the B-class rookie, dipping down, fairly long run and fairly low recommended rank for this one. So easy enough AI to uh, beat even while drifting that silly amount. And yeah, it's in the class B rookie portion of career as well. So again, it's also a Himalayas track, so it counts as another win of that. And you've got tons of barrel roll opportunities throughout that one. Definitely a cool track. Uh, the eight perfect runs in a single race. If you're not sure what that is, a perfect run is when you've had the car at around 70% of its max speed or more and not impacted a wall or other race hazard while staying on the track. So in other words, it's just good driving. One way you can get quite a lot of those uh, perfect runs is actually by putting the car into touch drive and not um yeah touching the controls touch drive does actually give the car enough acceleration to count as a perfect run but it doesn't exactly zip around the tracks too quickly so you can use that for some of the perfect run rewards i am also going to gun for some airtime as well as coming in the top three in the porsche so i'm taking manual control of this but the wildlands course in the career is another one that's good for a long course and with the low recommended rank here and the fact that i don't have to go for 360s anymore i'm gonna be just yeah staying away from the ai so as to count as those perfect runs as much as possible and also yeah just shooting for all the ramps just to try to get as much of that airtime as possible and obviously pick up those nitro bottles because yeah you need to farm out 200 of those you don't want to be doing too many events if avoidable i am just gonna go and completely avoid ai mode if i can there's a perfect run and like i said they count every about 20 or so seconds so you can't actually get that on a short enough course it is just a case of you need yeah a certain amount of actual track ahead of you to be able to get it unfortunately you can't just um drive incredibly slowly and get them because once the car is underneath a certain speed it'll actually stop counting as perfect runs so i'm trying to not go uh, too fast but at the same time yeah not take the mick with the speed just so as i can get the yeah perfect run bonus every single time it's in and around kind of 15 through 20 seconds to actually get that one to pop up but the main thing is just not to impact other racers and yeah to try and avoid walls as much as possible and keep it on the track so i am just yeah taking it slow and steady <laughs> main thing i'm going for is like i said those perfect runs Boop. Another one of those ticked, not too bad. 
you can see here I already have 125 of these nitro bottles I'm wondering how do you do that on the first day that's a lot of races no it's not um go in here to the exclusive career and up to race number eight dipping down select a viciously good car say I did it already in the tech rules and yeah this is a good track for a grinding out say some of the jump time uh, because it's quite a lot of high ramps on this one but there's also a fair amount of nitro bottles um yeah but this track is pretty awesome for just uh, like I said the really low rating because this is one of the first career events and like if you're in a position the same as me like you could do loads of races and grind out those nitro bottles but at the same time it's far easier to just get something like the tech rules come inside here or you could use the nismo as well just any one of the 3k rated cars because this race gives you an awful lot of time before it will disqualify you from actually yeah just being on the track so and it's also one that should be like a 90 second long track Please, in the comments, do not say, Wow, you take those ramps really high and badly. Yes, because I'm just grinding airtime also. <laughs> I know I'm taking these ramps really high and badly. This is just for, like I said, the uh, getting those quests done as much as possible. So, just sailing the car through the air. Um, don't go too fast though around here. want to slow the car up as much as possible. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so not taking that barrel roll ramp, instead punching the brakes here. Get ourselves two nitro bottles. What did you say? Two nitro bottles. Ah, so we need 75 of these. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, I don't want to do this naturally because this is just a torturous go and grind 200 nitro bottles things just find yourself somewhere like this on a road if you want uh, if you don't want to use dipping down there's loads of places where you can get two nitro bottles next to each other just put a car in between them reverse drive reverse drive reverse drive over and over again uh, you can't actually do this in circles because the game will tend to reset you straight away so yeah like uh, the reason I chose dipping down here again is just because this car race having the rating of just 800 means the fact that you get about three minutes or so to do this in your really really slow car but of course you're just going to use that to uh grind out yeah nitro bottles until the time uh, kicks us out and again it's not like win races after getting nitro bottles the game is just counting each and every nitro bottle that I do in this career mode so you don't have to worry about like finishing the race or so um, after collecting the bottles all you do is just stick your car in between two and yeah this <laughs> I'm sure this is exactly how this quest was intended <laughs> mm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just case as long as you leave the area where the actual bottle is, it'll collect it the next time when you just touch into that area. Coming up on the three minute mark. Will I have gotten the other 75? <laughs> ah, reverse, silly care. <laughs> Wrong way. Really? I think you'll find this is the right way. <laughs> ah! There we go. <laughs> yeah, so it's just over three minutes that you get on that track. Oh, picked up another one as it rolled forward. Yay! Nitro bottles done. <laughs> Don't want to be doing that thing for long. But yeah, that's another tier done. I guess as soon as you're going to cheese one of these things, may as well show an easy way to cheese out that uh, perform shockwaves in daily events say yeah you need a hundred of those a shockwave is yeah both boost buttons together or a double press of boost when you've got the full nitro meter filled up obviously you know filling up the shockwave meter and using it every time is going to absolutely suck for doing something like that because you need to use it a hundred times but you can get some use out of this uh, really handy women's event because it's absolutely rubbish for everything else but still it's a really long track and it allows you to use the Lotus Elise Sprint 220. 
this car has exceptional nitro game and yeah i would highly advise using this to cheese out some of these shockwaves i think i had less than 10 or so of them done let's see if we can get the 100 done in a single race <laughs> unlikely but still uh yeah the nitro shockwave counts at the immediate second when you press the actual two uh, nitro buttons together so you can actually just bring the car in and out of that state with like yeah rapid succession so shockwave 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 like all you have to do is just wiggle the car from side to side as you drift and just immediately press brake after you press shockwave so just what i'm doing there is just pressing x and y together to initiate the shockwave and b immediately on top of it so just x y b x y b x y b and yeah like each one of those counts as a nitro shockwave and i don't want to do this race too fast but unfortunately <laughs> uh yeah you do, you, there's no breaking when you're doing this but you can see how you can just grind out like a, a crazy amount of shockwaves uh doing that I just, just wiggle the butt of the car and just x y together b x y together b and like yeah because 100 nitro shock waves if doing them uh, like naturally could actually take quite a bit of time but just wiggle the butt of that car and uh, yeah XYB 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 the whole time and it'll um, yeah just continuously fill up that meter and just yeah like I said <laughs> get you far far closer to um, getting that 100 shockwaves done rather than just trying to do them naturally like nitro shockwaves will be done obviously while you're doing races but if you want to progress into this season pass asap or just sit down and grind some of it out like i've been doing today just yeah cheese it up inside here and again you don't have to win a race for this you just need to uh yeah do your shockwave break shockwave break shockwave break <laughs> and yeah sorry if that uh, controller sound is really really bad <laughs> just quite a lot of wiggling of stick but uh yeah this event isn't much use for anything else and since there's only one ticket now may as well make use of it in the lotus elise to at least get something out of it oh can i still make the one minute and tw 12 oh no i missed out in, i mean two minutes and 12. <laughs> but yeah that two minutes and 12 is a joke what they're asking for there anyway like i mean Realistically, there's no challenge whatsoever from that event. How many shockwaves did I manage to get out of uh, a single race? Oh, that would be the first time I actually did that in the uh, thing. Wait. Oh, I did actually manage to get all of them in that race. <laughs> yeah like i said uh that's one that could take you quite a while to grind out or one wiggly butthead uh lotus elise sprint run through uh that woman's day course because uh yeah like i said that event isn't much use for anything else but the lotus elise is amazing for those uh wiggly nitro shock waves when you need to uh grind them out for an event like that no so that is effectively all of episode one done for me in the first uh hour or so now for the uh 150 airtime finishing that off and doing the seven races in the porsche i was actually also trying to take off a few more of those scotland tracks and that's just done here in career i was in d class rookie number seven here lighthouse that course is pretty easy it's got a good good few jumps in there and you can use any of the yeah d-class porsche so i have the 718 cayman and the 911 target 4s um just running those even on touch drive can easily finish that race and touch drive directed to a couple of the ramps will get the airtime clocked off as well as some wins in scotland now i think the only yeah the only two i haven't done here then is the finish races in scotland finish races in himalayas while i'm editing this video and turn it up to youtube i'm gonna put cars into these himalayas and scotland races and just let them touch drive because it doesn't even have to be win races in scotland or himalayas so uh like on scotland i know that there's a stage called 
ghost ships it appears in a load of different career events but it's only 30 seconds long and likewise there'll be himalayas tracks which are incredibly short i think there's one where it starts off on that hill and just ends pretty much at the bottom of the hill so like yeah just look for a 30 second race and do it Wee, 28 times it doesn't necessarily have to be in any car but i would just if you want to power through this one asap you can just nail this one day one straight away by just throwing like i said touch drive career and just leave the car play away otherwise you will get those through um multiplayer races and stuff over the next month obviously you're gonna do 28 races in scotland and himalayas if you wouldn't do that amount of races you shouldn't have bought the season pass <laughs> but yeah guys um let us know if you're going to take the uh, paid route on this or the free route anyway because like yeah I think like 9.89 for me isn't really that much to ask um considering the fact that there's a month of kind of content and stuff i'm just like hoping that the bits and pieces are actually cool and worthwhile getting at uh, for me this so far has given quite a lot of uh 918 spider uh body parts so i'm gonna claim those now and take a look and see if any of them are actually uh cool to see new rims new rear bumper new rims new front bumper and ah, oh, cool side skirts some of those are pretty awesome for the cars i really do love the uh the porsche 918 like it is quite a cool car slightly missing in the uh speed department but still at the same time side skirt oh cool it gives air vents down the side like the uh body on the chiron not that like crazy and standoutish and a rear pumper of that looks weird give us a little happy smiley on the back <laughs> hmm not sure how i feel about that it looks a bit too much like a bit of a derpy smiley hmm uh, maybe maybe not we'll see hmm no i don't think so let's see rims will i be able to attach these on account of not having rims hey there we go this car has wheels now <laughs> i'm not really sure how i feel about those between like the tonned bolt uh speed rims or just the original ones because the original on that are pretty awesome as well well i guess it's just down to personal preference i might go with the thunderbolt ones for now <laughs> it's good to see that car with rims back on it <laughs> That is one thing as well that's on these, I noticed straight away, the buy tier option is here. So if you were getting like a certain way into the quest and you wanted to just buy your way up through it, you also seem to be able to use tokens. Now, I'm not going to click on that because some of these don't have confirmation messages. So be careful of that. Does that give it an... Like I said, these don't have <laughs> confirmation messages. And I was like, I'll click on that. Maybe I'll give an explanation of it. Nope. Yeah, so they absolutely don't have confirmation messages. <laughs> so be wary of that because, uh, yeah, clicking pretty much anywhere around there is probably going to spend tokens and advance you onto the next level. Is Eh, I don't mind that too much, to be fair. But yeah, um, just be aware of the fact that you can buy your way forward in this using tokens, which would also kind of be cool. Like... If you really wanted to get to the level 15 mark, say, you could just pretty much buy the season pass and use tokens to advance yourself to as well, rather than spending 20 extra euro on buying your way up through those uh, things. So that's kind of a bit, yeah, it'd be better in my opinion to just use tokens if you're really, really close to a tier you wanted and you had to wait the next week anyway for it. So yeah, be wary of that though. Like I said, yeah, there is not confirmation and clicking either part of that probably buys the uh, tier advanced to the next one. Hey, <laughs> oh, that was expected somewhat. Um, but yeah, let us know how you're getting on if you did buy this, if you've gone into the uh, free tier channel or if you're going down the uh, paid route like myself. But 
if this is one of my first videos and you haven't subbed to my channel already, please do click that button up there over my head. Uh, up there you've got Indie or Audi, my series where I take a look at an indie game and give it a review, going with a blind play test on the Switch. And then in that corner you've got other content from my channel guys. And as always, drive safe.